This week's Safety Toolbox talk is on mobile equipments on our projects. Here we have a paving contractor on one of our projects and they're using miscellaneous materials like this laser type screed here to elevate their blacktop and then here we've got a gentleman on a roller and behind that semi we have a bobcat and a lull type operation machine also. Looking at these pieces of equipment on our projects, they can create some caught by and pinch by obstacles. And this has become a, more and more of a hazard on our projects, trying to segregate our tradesmen from all of these equipments. Now these gentlemen operating these equipment shown in this video are supposed to have been certified on these equipments. The backup alarms are supposed to be operational on these equipments and they're supposed to be wearing their seat belts on these equipments. When we do our pre-construction safety plans on our projects and we talk about different types of scopes, all of this comes into play. As you can see here, we have no other tradesmen working in the vicinity of this operation. This is their operation to do without having any exposure to other tradesmen working in the vicinity of their operations. And this needs to be thought of on all of our job sites. Challenge your subcontractors on our projects to make sure that these guys are seat belted into their equipments and that these backup alarms are functioning properly and that they've had training. So here we are on a new project and in the distance there we've got a backhoe operating on this project and then right in front of it is a boom lift and then right in front of that is a crane, another boom lift, a generator, we can see another backhoe there and some vehicular traffic all on these haul roads within our site fence. So all of these pose a hazard to a certain extent in regard to caught between and pinch buys. And of course we've got a mass climber on the side of this building also. So tradesmen in the vicinity of. We need to be aware and pre-plan for all of these equipments that will be operating within our site fences. Another observation to take a look at with this equipment on our projects is all the material handling receiving of material and transporting but uh, when he lifts this product up in the air making sure no other tradesmen are in the vicinity that they might get hit or struck by uh, this product as on many projects.